Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper, and I'm on my boat today, as you can see. <laughs> I'm not going out, unfortunately, not today, uh, soon, hopefully. But uh, I did bring the uh, Xigu G1M that I want to test in uh, SSB and CW. Last uh, Sunday, I did the JS8 test uh, that was really fun. Uh, live stream with you guys and uh, <laughs> that was uh, that was a lot of fun so today I decided to try it in uh, uh, SSB and CW on the 15 meter band so I cut a half wave wire for 15 meters which is about 6.8 meters long my uh, boat mast is about 8 meters long so I did bring my spider beam 12 meter mast and uh, so it should stick uh, 4 meters above the boat mast and that should be great and uh, so let's set it up and uh, I'll start operating and by the way I'm using uh, my uh, 64 to 1 transformer here that you can see the, the red box I'll start with the uh, 64 to 1 I also brought a 49 to 1 with less turns the 64 to 1 has uh, 3 turns primary 24 turns total uh, the 49 to 1 has a 2 turns primary 14 turns total if I'm not mistaken and uh, that's better for generally uh, higher bands uh, more turns is better for the lower bands all right uh, <laughs> so I didn't extend the mast all the way, uh, it's not really secure quite yet because uh, I probably will have to shorten the wire. So uh, the problem also is that I'm worried about is that uh, there are a lot of metal, there's the, uh, the mast, um, uh, you know, there, is, there are cables, uh, so uh, it's just um, <laughs> there are a lot of things that can interact with this wire. So, But hey, I'll try, I'll uh, set my... Uh, antenna analyzer here and uh, we'll see uh, what I can get. First try uh, 6.8 meters you can see that the antenna is resonant at about 20.7 megahertz which means of course that the wire is too long so I'll just cut a little bit. Second try I'm resonant at about uh, 21.75 so <laughs> now the wire is too short. You'll also notice that the SWR isn't that great around 2 to 1. And this is with the spider beam extended all the way, so you can see really the SWR is much better, which means that definitely the rigging is interacting with the antenna. 1.1 to 1 SWR at uh, 21750, uh, which does prove that the uh, transformer works really well. That's not much, <laughs> but of course on higher frequencies uh, that's what happens. I was a little too eager to uh, to get on frequency and uh, I cut the wire too short. So probably I'll have to add about that much, which isn't, you know, it's okay, but better, uh, better cut a little bit at a time and not uh, not that much this is good on 80 meters <laughs> when you adjust your antenna for 80 meters but not on 15 but it will work anyway I'll have a 2 to 1 uh, SWR I did bring my Elecraft T1 tuner so but you know I'd rather not use the tuner 2 to 1 should be fine uh, when you uh, use a tuner uh, you uh, add uh, lots of losses and uh, that's not something I want especially uh, running QRP uh, you know low power so also I tried the uh, 49 to 1 with uh, two turns primary 14 turns total uh, it, it didn't do any better so I put back my uh, 64 to 1 because it's a little bit lighter and I don't want to break that wire uh, because I have a heavy coax here I'm using uh, LMR 240-UF uh, that's a very good cable it's pretty expensive but uh, a very low loss uh, LMR 240 uh, UF is for ultra flex but they should have called it uh, less stiff <laughs> those guys at uh, times microwave are pretty funny but uh, so it's it's not ultra flex but it's flexible and uh, it's it's a really good cable 
on uh, higher frequencies you don't want to uh, use a cheap uh, cable uh, or you know something very thin like uh, RG174 or RG316 that's just uh, you know you introduce a lot of losses there and uh, so using a, a little thicker cable and a, a better cable is uh, definitely the way to go well the uh, SWR went way down when I took the uh, the wire above all the uh, the cables and the mast and so it's I get 1.1 to 1 on uh, 21.75 which is too high but uh, I could just lengthen the wire but it's 1.5 to 1 on uh, 21.06 so perfect unfortunately the uh, the camera here so you see the flickering on the screen it doesn't happen in reality of course that's just because of the uh, shutter speed um, and I'm not sure I can change the shutter speed but I don't hear much on 15 meters and with a half wave antenna like this one I should definitely hear a lot of people but maybe uh, the band is uh, closed already of course I can always call <laughs> give it a shot anyway uh, otherwise I can go on 20 meters I'll try on CW as well sorry about the screen <laughs> you won't see much of anything okay 21285 okay let's uh, give it a shot oops uh, you'll notice that I put a ferrite on the uh, microphone jack okay I'll just I'll just take it in hand CQ 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 this is Foxtrot 4 whiskey Bravo Yankee Foxtrot 4 whiskey Bravo Yankee F4 WBY over CQ, 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 CQ. This is Fox. This is Foxtrot 4 Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Foxtrot 4 Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Over. There is still a little bit of feedback through the speaker. I'm going to uh, add a choke, an RF choke on the antenna uh, connection. We'll see if that helps. CQ, 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 CQ. This is Foxtrot 4 Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Foxtrot 4 Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Over. There is still a little bit. I think there is. There might be a little bit less though. Let's try the uh, <laughs> the electret microphone. CQ, 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 CQ. This is Foxtrot 4 Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Foxtrot 4 Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Over. Band is closed guys. Alright guys, I moved to the inside of the cabin because uh, you can see better this way and it was starting to, uh, to rain a few drops. I had a few drops uh, falling so, so it's more comfortable down here. I did hear a few people on uh, 20 meters. Uh, Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, do you copy? Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. My son says 5 and 9, Roger. Thank you very much. You're also uh, 5 and 8, 5 and 9 here in the south of France. I'm running uh, QRP here, uh, 5 watts, and uh, on a boat. Over. Very beautiful copy, 5 watts, very, very booming signal, 5 and 8 and 5 and 9. Merci beaucoup and uh, have a great day. Uh, Foxtrot for Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Over. Foxtrot 4 Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Foxtrot 4 Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Foxtrot Alfa Romeo, Oscar, in the south of France, Portugal. To 
Thank you uh, very much, uh, Walter. You, are, you have a very good signal here in the south of France, in the town of Antibes. You are between 5'8 and sometimes 5'9 plus 10, so very good. I'm running QRP here uh, with a G1M, uh, 5 watts, uh, 5 watts, and uh, on a boat, on a sailboat. Uh, over. Thank you very much uh, for the signal for the uh, 59 uh, plus uh, 10 dB. Uh, you're coming here with uh, 555, 555. Set up your speak here on the frequency. Uh, still going up, to, up and down, 5355. Uh, five, yeah. uh, my working condition is uh, yeah, yes to Fox Tango Del Sector 5000. Uh, output approximately 100 watts running to a 5 element Yagi, which is here mounted on a water tower approximately 12 meters high. Uh, very nice, uh, very nice. Uh, that's a fine business, <laughs> like we say. Uh, here, my antenna is a half wave and fed, half wave and fed antenna with the 64 to 1 transformer. So uh, 5 watts, 5 watts, and the radio is a Xigu, Xigu G1M, a Golf 1 mic, a little uh, QRP radio. I'm on a 6 meter sailboat, 6 meter sailboat in the port of Antibes. So I am not at sea, uh, I am uh, in the port. Uh, uh, back to you. Thank you very much. It's about the same here. It's about the same here, and uh, so. Uh, but I'm I'm happy to be outside because we are still on a, a partial lockdown, uh, and uh, I have to be back home uh, before 7 p.m. 7 p.m. is the uh, the curfew, the curfew for tonight. So <laughs> we cannot uh, get out after 7 p.m. But uh, so I will be uh, packing up and going very soon. But maybe I'll try to make maybe one or two more contacts tonight. So you have a very good night. Thank you very much again. And uh, until uh, the next time, uh, 73, uh, Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, back to you. Roger, Roger, chill. Okay, chill. Thanks for the information here. Yeah. Okay, chill. Then I say thank you very much uh, for the quiz, though. I wish you and your family all the best. And I hope to meet you again on the frequency. And uh, stay safe, chill. Uh, Charlie Tango, 7 hours, August, Mike, is your TV, Foxtrot 4. Have a good night. Uh, thanks again. So a couple contacts on uh, USB, uh, nothing on CW, which is surprising because uh, usually it's the other way around. I make a lot of contacts in uh, a CW using Morse code, uh, but not on uh, SSB, which you know I don't use very often anyway. But this radio turns out to be uh, pretty good. It's definitely usable on uh, CW with the Morse code. Uh, uh, much better than the uh, Minion SDR, I'm sorry to say, uh, but uh, it doesn't have, it's not so sensitive to uh, RF feedback. A little bit of uh, feedback in the microphone, uh, I mean the uh, the speaker from the microphone, so uh, eh, that's a bit of a pain, but it's not insurmountable. The other person hears me, uh, even if sometimes the modulation is a little quirky, but uh, it's it's not a bad radio, I have to say. Uh, it's pretty decent. So for the price, definitely. Um, the only thing you have to do, of course, uh, is to uh, put some more solder, open the case, and uh, you know re reflow the solder on all the jacks inside the radio. Otherwise, uh, you risk uh, you know you have the risk of uh, them breaking loose, and uh, well, then you'd have to solder them anyway. But 
uh, you know, might as well do it first, although you will lose your uh, your warranty if you do that. So, of course, uh, I didn't buy the radio, so I don't really care. Uh, I think it had been worked on before, maybe, so uh, it doesn't matter. But uh, if you uh, if you bought your radio, you might want to wait that, uh, you know, one jack uh, gets loose and you have to resolder it and, uh, you know, take that opportunity to resolder all the jacks, basically. So I have to go now because it's uh, it's uh, uh, six twenty p.m. and we have a curfew at uh, seven p.m., which is a real pain and uh, I really don't agree with. But that's how it is. So I'm gonna pack up and go. No luck on fifteen meters. It's not a very good band for prepping. It's a good DX band for amateur radio to have fun uh, for prepping. Anything above twenty meters really is. It's not a good choice because you don't have the reliability and I'm speaking of HF here of course uh, I think I mean for me uh, the bands that are useful for prepping on HF are 20 30 40 and 80 meters that's all you need really and uh, you know you have a couple day bands 20 and 30 meters and a couple night bands uh, evening and night bands uh, 40 and 80 meters although of course 40 meters is to me, again, the king of the, the, the bands for prepping because uh, it works most of the time and it does all the ranges. So the G1M I'm probably going to use for SSB uh, because I have better radios for CW. But, you know, it does both and it works for both. Apparently, it, it works pretty well on uh, SSB. Uh, I'm pretty happy about it. Jan, thanks again. You will see it again. I'll, I'll use it probably, uh, you know, on a regular basis on outings and in the field. Uh, this weekend I might go out, uh, try to go in the mountains. Depends on the weather because uh, it's getting kind of uh, dark and, you know, foggy. And there was a little bit of rain earlier. So no idea what the weekend will be. I didn't check the uh, forecast. So, all right, that's it for this one. Have a good one.